bullet train wrecker, cause a bullet train wrecker go hard. Uh, hard as a dead body wrecker, I'm on the sub, lay it out. Everybody gotta say on your guard. Uh, Rock where was raised by a family of hunters. Give me free reign, I can do what I want. To the loose first avenue with a revolution. That's not my get a kid, Roger. The underground city in my city, niggas wanna throw slugs at a nigga. At a nigga. Chasing his feelings right now, and I hope it don't last, cause I love that nigga. I saw Nelly in the club, stretch, bought a few bottles, we don't really give a fuck right now. Cause we the new We trying to represent a renaissance man type of energy, where people made music, and they didn't uh, feel the need to cater to the social standards of the, of the day. We're giving people real human emotion real unsolicited human thought just you know and trying to be as creative as we can be with it like i just want to create and build and make shit and we make more shit and the more shit we make the more notoriety you get because everybody wants to be popular and everybody wants to be loved and everybody wants you know all that type of good bullshit see i just want to create because if we keep creating more people will want more creative shit <laughs> I, I work with him because i know he takes the music as seriously as i take it like the creation process like the art of lyricism you know what i'm saying like i'm heavily into that like if, if you really can't even do nothing with them bars i really don't even want to fuck with you for you got every type of style, I got every type of style, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we got every type of production, you know what I'm saying, that a motherfucker could ask for, to be perfectly frank. God has been good to us on many different levels, you know what I'm saying, I am very grateful, I am not ungrateful about any of that. We, we wrote a back and forth rap song without even being in the same state. That's fucking ill it's, to me. It's, it's a joint on the project where it's literally him spitting a bar, I spit a bar, he spit a bar, I spit a bar, he spit a bar, I spit a bar, I spit a bar, you know, and then he get to doing some crazy shit where he like chanting, and I feel the chant in. And we wasn't even in the same room when we recorded this record. He sent me an empty canvas of him just saying random shit. I said, how the fuck I'm gonna record this shit? Put the pieces together, man, it came out badass. You know what I'm I want the listener to, to read, to have pride about, you know, where we come from, like, you know, St. Louis, to feel like, yo, okay, we got contenders here now, you know what I'm saying? People that can make music that's comparable to the greats, make music that's comparable to the legends, you know, like, um, and, and I'm not saying we there yet. I don't want to make any ridiculous claims like, yo, we making the craziest music motherfucking possible. But I believe that if you give us time to grow and you work with us and you let us settle into our shoes and, and you give us the same opportunity that you gave the rest of these motherfuckers, we're going to shock the world. Like, I really believe that. The first performance that I saw Tefan was in 2010. I had no clue who he was. If he was from here, I just like, oh, I, I hear a show at the, the gramophone. I was coming over, came to, to uh, the gramophone, and just the energy that he brought to his crowd just made me keep, keep coming back. Tef is easily one of the most versatile dudes that could be on any scene, period. Any scene, period. The right person hears his shit, it's gonna be game over. Working with Tef as a producer because like he was different from everybody else, and he had his own style, and he was like super lyrical and aggressive but it, like he literally had, like he sounded like nobody else and that's the reason why I was gravitated towards his music Most people look at a box on a piece of paper, they look at a square and they see a square, but I don't see a square. I see something else. And, and I'm bending those lines and bending those rules, and that's what me and Rockwell are about. We about, you know, just trying to take something that we conceive to be impossible and make it possible. That's that's what our careers represent. That's what this David Ruffin Theory Project represents. It's just taking shit that ain't supposed to happen and making it happen, materializing it into reality, and, and, and looking at motherfuckers dead in the face and saying, fuck you, we did it, you know?